During the summer, Liverpool spent £60 million to activate Dominic Soboslai's release clause from RB Leipzig. The expectation is that he will bring energy and creativity to Jurgen Klopp's team, which faced difficulties in the previous season. But how good is he, and what will he actually bring to Anfield? In Hungary, the older generation holds the belief that having small feet is a key factor in the success of football. This idea traces back to the time of the legendary Ferenc Puskas. He scored an impressive 83 goals in 84 games for Hungary and many more at the club level, particularly with Real Madrid, where he secured the European Cup three times. Despite being a 5-foot 7-inch striker, Puskas had a unique combination of a low center of gravity, strong thighs, and, notably, small feet. His striking technique involved hitting the ball dead center with minimal backswing, resulting in substantial power. Puskas remained a revered figure in Hungary. And this brings us to the topic of Hungary's emerging star, Dominic Soboslai. Unlike the shorter and stockier frame of Puskas, Liverpool's standout signing of the summer stands tall at 6 foot 1. However, a common trait they share is their UK size 7 feet. This, coupled with Soboslai's long legs, allows him to cleanly strike through the ball, as noted by those who have worked closely with him in the past. Let's step back for a moment. Soboslai's move to Anfield marked the end of his five-year journey within the Red Bull system. His venture began at 16, when he left Hungary to join Austria's FC Liefering in 2016. This path took him from Red Bull Salzburg to RB Leipzig, but Soboslai's progression faced challenges. When he arrived in Leipzig in December 2020, he was hindered by an adductor injury, delaying his debut until the following August. Even during the full 2021-22 season, he struggled to establish himself, often coming off the bench rather than starting. This period saw Leipzig's transition from Jesse Marsh's RB-focused approach to Domenico Tedesco's possession-based strategy, making it a demanding Bundesliga season. Yet, Soboslai managed six league goals and eight assists during this time. These numbers were mirrored in the 2022-23 season, where he became a regular under the guidance of the new manager, Marco Rose. He concluded the season with a goal against Eintracht Frankfurt in the DFB Pokal final victory. Highlighting his significance, only centre-back Willy Orban played more minutes for Leipzig than Soboslai across all competitions last season, showcasing his durability and importance to the team. Soboslai is not only a reliable and consistent performer, but he is also very versatile. Under Rose's management, he wasn't confined to a strict winger role. Instead, he was a creative attacking midfielder who could also stretch wide. Importantly, Soboslai feels equally at ease on the left side. This has been evident both at his club and on the international stage, where he constantly operates as a left-sided attacking midfielder within Hungary's 3-4-3 structure designed by Marco Rossi. Whether he's cutting in from the left or the right, Soboslai possesses a knack for delivering precise passes to teammates, making runs ahead, or unleashing his characteristic long-range shots. Among Bundesliga players in the 2022-23 season, only Leroy Sane of Bayern Munich has taken more shots from outside the box than Soboslai. Although the expected goal statistics might advise caution regarding attempts from a distance, Soboslai's impressive ability to strike the ball gives him a bit more freedom in this regard. The player's skill in dead ball situations is just as impressive. During international duty, he showcased his ability by scoring a long-range free kick that found the top corner against Bulgaria in March, adding to his already impressive collection of such moments. His remarkable accuracy is also evident when he effortlessly places the ball exactly where he intends during corner kicks. This technique truly comes to life when witnessed in real time. While Soboslai has gained a reputation for excelling in set pieces, it's important to not overlook his creativity during open play. In the Bundesliga last season, he averaged 2.6 chances created per 90 minutes, ranking him ninth among all players. Notably, his contribution extended beyond set pieces, with a strong figure of 1.7 open play chances created per 90 minutes, which placed him 11th in the league. However, Soboslai's impact isn't limited to the final passer shot. 
His involvement in his team's attacking sequences is comprehensive. When considering all actions that lead directly to a shot, such as passes, dribbles, and winning fouls, Soboslai's average of 5.5 per 90 minutes was the highest within the Leipzig squad. Given his position on the right side, it's understandable that crosses from wide areas played a significant role in Soboslai's chance creation last season. Yet he doesn't rely solely on predicted high or whip deliveries into the penalty area. Instead, he demonstrates intelligence by varying his passes, often reducing the ball's pace and keeping it lower to outwit opponents. While Soboslai's technical prowess is beyond doubt, his ability to make the right decisions and select optimal choices during crucial moments is what truly distinguishes the top-tier players. Now let's consider the physical aspect. Despite being positioned as a wide player, Soboslai isn't likely to outpace his opponent in a one-on-one -on -one situation over short distances. Quick acceleration is in his strong suit. However, his ability to reach high speeds is often underestimated by his adversaries. According to the Bundesliga's metrics, supported by AWS, Soboslai's top speed of 35.2 km per hour ranks him 31st among all players in the Bundesliga. This is a commendable ranking, especially when you consider the extensive pool of 506 players in Germany's top division. While he might not be categorized as an all-action midfielder in comparison to other wide players in Europe, his physical prowess shouldn't be underestimated. In the Bundesliga last season, no teammate of Soboslai completed more intensive runs than his impressive tally of 2,069. Remarkably, his 863 sprints positioned him as the 7th highest sprinter among all Bundesliga players in the same season. Statistics like these should bolster Soboslai's confidence as he prepares to transition to the Premier League. It's worth noting that several players have moved from Germany to England and faced challenges adapting to the demands of their new clubs. Names like Timo Werner, Kai Havertz, Jadon Sancho, and Naby Keita come to mind. However, Soboslai's combination of technical skill and physical attributes indicates that such risks are likely to be mitigated in his case. Lastly, let's examine the tactical aspect. Although defensive shortcomings were highlighted earlier in his career, Soboslai displayed noticeable growth in both his defensive and offensive contributions last season. Playing within the Red Bull framework, known for its intense and fast-paced style, Liverpool can reasonably expect Soboslai to adeptly adjust to Jurgen Klopp's tactical approach. Leipzig's PPDA of 11.1 last season was second only to Bayern Munich's, highlighting their high-intensity pressing game. Moreover, Leipzig registered a substantial 77 direct attacks in the 2022-23 season, a metric often indicative of counter-attacking strategies. Soboslai played a pivotal role in Rose's effective transition strategy. He maintained an advanced position when Leipzig lost possession, facilitating the regaining of the ball in advantageous areas. In the later part of the previous season, Liverpool adopted the tactical shift to a possession-oriented 3-box-3 three three structure. Their midfield included two holding number 6 players for build-up, such as Fabinho and the adaptable Trent Alexander-Arnold, along with two advanced number 8 or number 10 players to support the attack. With Fabinho's departure, the responsibility of orchestrating this setup now likely rests on Wataru Endo, a 30-year-old midfielder who swiftly joined from German Bundesliga side Stuttgart and made his debut on short notice. As Japan's captain, Endo now plays a crucial role as Liverpool navigate the early stages of the new season, seeking to define their evolving path. With the recent addition of versatile midfielder Alexis McAllister from Brighton, Soboslai is projected to occupy the number 10 position in Klopp's new tactical structure. Having already excelled in a box midfield configuration within Leipzig's typical 4-2-2-2 formation, Soboslai's proficiency aligns well with this role. His proficiency in long-range shooting could also prove advantageous against teams employing deeper defensive blocks, a strategy Liverpool used to encourage former player Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain due to his powerful technique. After an impressively productive season in Germany, Liverpool's new acquisition seems poised to ascend further in his career journey. Do you agree with our analysis? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you haven't checked out our analysis on Alexis McAllister, click on this video. Thank you for your support.